Hello, I'm Jennifer from the St. Louis County Library. Welcome to Advanced Libby. This series of videos will show you how to use some of the more advanced features of the Libby app to enjoy ebooks, audiobooks, and magazines. This video will focus on using Libby with multiple library cards and on multiple devices. To see the full playlist of Advanced Libby videos, click on the link in the description. One of the wonderful benefits of the Libby app is the ability to use multiple library cards to borrow books, audiobooks, and magazines. Having multiple library cards in Libby can be very handy. St. Louis County Library has a very extensive collection of titles, but there may be a time when you don't see a title at our library and want to check another library. Or there may be a time when one library has a long waiting list for a title and you want to see if a title is available or has a shorter waiting list at another library. There are two different ways that you can use multiple library cards with Libby. The St. Louis County Library formed a partnership agreement with the St. Louis Public Library and St. Charles City County Library. As long as you have a St. Louis County Library card, you will be able to borrow Libby titles that do not have holds queues from both other library systems. To add a partner card in the Libby app, tap the menu icon at the bottom of the screen. Then in the Your Library section, tap where it says Add Library. In the search box, you're going to type the name of the library system that you would like to add. So I'm going to type St. Louis Public, and you'll see as I'm typing, different results are popping up. So you just need to make sure you type on the correct search results, and it does not matter which branch is listed as long as the name of the library system is correct. Over here, I'm going to tap sign in with my card. Now this is the tricky part. This screen says, let's sign into your account. Where do you use your library card? Well, because I am putting my St. Louis County Library card number in, I need to tap St. Louis County Library. I'm using my county library card to access St. Louis Public Library's materials. So now I'm going to put my county library card in and tap next type my PIN and tap sign in. Then on this screen, I'm gonna tap next and I'm in. The other way that you can use multiple library cards in Libby is to get an actual card from another library system. The St. Louis County Library has agreements with several other neighboring libraries, which will allow you to have a card for free as long as you are a St. Louis County resident. These other library systems are St. Louis Public Library in the city, St. Charles City County Library, Jefferson County Library, Scenic Regional Library, Washington Public Library, and the Municipal Library Consortium, which consists of nine independent libraries in St. Louis County. Most of these library systems do require you to visit a branch in person in order to obtain the library card. If you have library cards from systems outside of the St. Louis area, you will be able to use those cards in Libby as well, as long as that library system has access to Libby. Unlike with partner cards, if you have a card from another library system, you will also be able to place holds on popular titles. To add a library card, it's going to be almost the same steps as before. There's just going to be one small difference. So I'm going to go to the menu icon at the bottom of the screen. And I'm going to tap Add Library. And in the search box, I'm going to type the name of the library system that I'm looking for. In this case, I'm looking for St. Charles. And then I'm going to tap on the correct search results. Over here, I'm going to tap sign in with my card. Now this is the step that's different. Let's sign into your account. Where do you use your library card? 
Well, in this case, I'm actually using a St. Charles library card to access St. Charles's collection. So I'm going to tap St. Charles City County Library District. Now I'm going to put in the card number for my St. Charles account and tap Next and type my PIN, sign in, Next, and I'm in. Whether you are using your St. Louis County Library card at a partner library or you have a library card from another library, the process of browsing, searching, and borrowing will be the same. The only difference is that if you are using your St. Louis County Library card at a partner library, you will only be able to see titles that are available now. But if you use a library card from another library, you will see their entire collection. Different libraries may also have different checkout limits, and different checkout periods. If you wish to browse at a different library, tap the menu icon at the bottom of the screen, and then tap the name of the library where you would like to browse. If you would like to search at a different library, tap the search icon, which is the magnifying glass. And then underneath the search box, you will see the name of the library where you currently are. To change that, go ahead and tap on the name of the library. And then tap the card that you would like to switch to instead. Then just tap in the search box and type in your search terms. If a title has a hold list at your active library, you will see an option to borrow it from one of your other libraries if one of them has a copy available. So right now I have searched St. Charles, and this title is available to borrow from St. Louis Public, and this one is available to borrow from St. Louis County Library, but they are not currently available at St. Charles. The colors of the icon next to the title will reflect the colors of a particular library's logo. So this one is St. Louis Public Library, this one is St. Charles Library, and this one is St. Louis County Library. If a title is not available at any of your libraries, Libby will automatically show you which library has the shortest wait list. Borrowing or placing a title on hold this way does not change your active library. If you wish to see a title status at all of your libraries, just click the plus icon or the calendar icon next to that title. So this particular title has a five-week wait at St. Charles. There are no copies at St. Louis Public, and it is available soon at St. Louis County Library. You can tell which library system it is by the colors of this logo. You do not need to switch between libraries to view your loans and holds. The shelf section of the Libby app combines all of your loans and holds together onto the same screen. This title is borrowed from St. Louis County Library. This title is borrowed from St. Louis Public Library. And this title is borrowed from St. Charles. If I go over to my holds, this title was placed on hold from St. Louis County Library. This title was placed on hold from St. Charles, and this title is placed on hold at multiple libraries, so you can see multiple different colors here in this logo. I do not currently have any holds from St. Louis Public Library because I am using a partner card, and a partner card does not allow me the ability to place holds on titles. If you are planning on using the same library card or cards on multiple devices, the best way to ensure that your loans, holds, and tags sync is to copy your card between devices. So my device that does not yet have Libby set up is on the left, and my device that already has Libby set up is on the right. So I'm going to set up my new device here on the left. The first screen asks, do you have a library card? I'm going to tap yes. 
Now this screen gives me the option to copy from another device. So I'm gonna tap that one. And now it is asking me to retrieve a setup code from my original device. So I'm coming over here to my first device and I'm going to go to the menu, scroll down and go to my settings. And then the first option here is copy to another device. So I'm going to tap that and it's going to provide me a setup code, which I'm going to type in on my new device here on the left. So you can see here are all three of my library cards already set up. I didn't have to put in the card numbers or the pins for any of them. They automatically copied over. And then I'm gonna tap next. Then it says, which library would you like to browse first? So I'm gonna tap St. Louis County Library. Now, if you're planning on reading books in Libby, you're going to tap skip. You should only tap yes, I read with Kindle if you have a Kindle e-reader or you're using the Kindle app to read your e-books. I'm going to tap skip because I'm planning on reading in Libby. And I'm done. Here are a few key things to know about copying from another device. Copying from another device is the only way to copy your tags to your new device. If you choose to do the regular sign-in process instead, your loans and holds will be there, but your tags will not. Copying from another device does not copy anything that you did in your settings, so you may want to visit your settings to set up your notifications, select your reading preference, and turn on labeled navigation icons. And if you had pinned any filters on your other device that you want to be applied on your new device, you will need to repin those filters on the new device. Thank you for watching. There is a link to the entire Advanced Libby playlist in the description, as well as a link to upcoming technology programs at the St. Louis County Library. Thank you for supporting the library. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel.